Hi there. Look at those leaves. They are vibrating under the influence of the wind. And they are telling us some great thoughts. And the thoughts some sensitive mind can understand and that I am today. It is telling us what George Bernard Shaw said long back. People blame their circumstances for what they are. But I do not believe in circumstances. The people who get on this world, they looked for the circumstances they wanted. And if they did not find it, they made it. Beloved friends, when Napoleon the Great was to attack his enemies, his commander came and said to him, and I quote, Napoleon, the conditions are not congenial today for attacking the enemies. The circumstances are adverse, unquote. And then the great Napoleon thundered and roared and said, if the conditions and circumstances are not congenial, if they are the granite wall, I will make those conditions congenial and favorable. That's the spirit of great people, beloved friends. Never blame conditions and circumstances. Nobody is going to influence your life as greatly and significantly as yourself. Because thought in the mind has made us what we are, my thought was wrought and built. You become what you think about. Nobody else can think about you, about your success, happiness, love, fame and fortune, your greatness. It's you who is very responsible for everything, what you are today and what you will become tomorrow. Because the cause of effect is the universal law. Whatever seed of thought you are planting in your mind, that way you are acting and that becomes your habit. And your habit really creates the conditions, environment, circumstances for you. So do not blame, do not believe in alibis. Take the full responsibility for your life, what you are, and what you are going to become tomorrow. Must remember it, what James Allen said, man is made or unmade by himself. In the armory of thoughts, he forges the weapons by which he destroys himself. He also fashions the tools with which he builds for himself. Heavenly man's sense of joy and strength and peace. By the right choice and true application of thoughts, man ascends to divine perfection. By the views and wrong applications of thought, he descends below the level of the best between these two extremes are all the grades of character. And man is their maker and master, beloved friends. You are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul. Nobody else is responsible for yourself. But one universal law you should not forget. What the great Shakespeare said. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. And some have greatness thrust upon them. But we, the middle class people, we have to make ourselves great by recognizing the power of your brain. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for us. And always remembering that if we believe in ourselves that we can do, we can do it. And once we have decided, we must have the faith that the universe will conspire to make it happen. And then we should persevere persistently, patiently, struggling, falling but still fighting, bleeding brows and pale, but still the joys of the achievement and success inspiring us, attracting us like a magnet to bear all those pains, acts, all those adversities, misfortune, hindrances, obstacles, difficulties. Trading down every reverses and never giving up and never quitting. 
learning lessons from every failure and defeat. Ultimately, we can make place in the history, a place under the sun on the planet Earth. But don't blame others. You shall become great if you really want to be great. It is your choice. And the wise men will all will have a great choice. There is no doubt about it. And I tell you very strongly and very powerfully, beloved friends, that you are a being of power, intelligence and love. And the lord of your own thoughts. And you hold the key to every situation and conditions within yourself. That transforming and regenerative agency by which you may make yourself what you will. That is universal truth, beloved friends. You are the creator of your fate and destiny. You are the master of your fate and captain of your soul. Never forget it. That's all the great becomes. And if you really ask the great people what was the secret of their greatness, then they will tell you that they were never afraid to fail. They failed and failed and failed throughout their life. But one thing was there. They never stopped their journey. They, keep, they kept on struggling, keep, kept on keeping on till the beautiful horizon of greatness and success and sunrise came to them. If you have this daring, if you have this courage to struggle and never give up and never quit, you can really join that galaxies of the greatness. Because remember it, you are just an actor on this planet Earth. You can act as bravely and as greatly and you can also do the reverses. It's all up to you. What you want, decide today. And you will become one day. There's no doubt about it. I really firmly believe in that. And I tell you some Hindi poems. Jin khoja tin paaya gahre pani pet. Jo bhaura du bandha raha kinare bed. Those who sought, they found it. But the timid coward who really allowed fear and doubt, hesitation, discouragement, disappointment to make a place in their heart. They really remain confused, failed in their life. That is the greatness of a great man. Dream big, dream lot of dreams. Cherish noble ideals, cherish noble visions, cherish the music that starts in your heart and the beauty that forms your mind and that loveliness that drives in your truthful heart. And if you are really sincere to your commitment, dedication, perseverance, patience and burning desire and the definite purpose of your life, you will attain it. Maybe you have to face a lot of hurdles, obstacles, reverses, oppositions, adversities, misfortune. Because there is no such reality as something for nothing. You have to pay the proper price. You will get only what you deserve it, what you have paid. Proportionately you will be rewarded, you will be compensated. But never blame anybody person or circumstance or environment. You are the creator of everything else by virtue of your thought. You are the maker of yourself. Mind is the master weaver that molds and makes. And man is mind and even more he takes the tools and thoughts. That's really make their environment. Be brave. No otherwise, no blame game. It's you. Fight to the finish, eyes front, head high, falling but still fighting, hoping, believing, having the courage, the patience, the perseverance, the tolerance to become a mighty man, a mighty warrior. Julius Caesar said, Vini Vidi Visi, 
I came, I saw a conqueror. He burned always his bridges. He looked forward, he never looked back. And he has taken everything to get what he wanted, even his existence. Victory or death, win or perish, do or die are the attitude of the greats. If you really want to join that galaxy of the supreme human being, be a daring